We want to turn now to the issue of race in America. We have got to take on Trump's racism. We'll call his racism out for what it is. The racial divide lives within me. Environmental racism, economic racism, criminal justice racism, health care racism. And racism or crime or poverty ended on my watch. But in our city, that what Trump is doing through his racism, systemic racism has touched every part of American life. And segregation and the institutional racism we see now. President Trump is pursuing a re-election strategy based in part on racial division. We'll also sign into law Sheila Jackson Lee's reparations bill so that we can have the national conversation we have waited too long in this country to have. If you did the math of the 40 acres and a mule, given that there was four to five million slaves at the end of, of, of the Civil War, they're fortified, and they were all promised 40 acres and a mule for every family of four. If you did the math today, it would be trillions of dollars. A white wealth gap in America. Racial issues. The racial divide lives within me. $50 billion into historically black colleges and universities. Close the black white wealth gap in America. Systemic racism has touched every part of American life. If you walk into an emergency room and you are black, your reports of pain will be taken less seriously. If you apply for a job and you are black, you are less likely to be called just because of the name on the resume. The majority of domestic terrorism cases this year have been motivated by white supremacy. In fact, the alleged shooter in this weekend's attack in Gilroy, California, referenced a well-known white supremacist book on social media. How are you going to combat the rise of white supremacy? We need to call out white supremacy for what it is, domestic terrorism. It's why I've proposed that we do everything from investing in historically redlined neighborhoods Mayor. to build black wealth in home ownership Thank you, Mayor. to supporting entrepreneurship for black Thank Americans. you very much. We need to recognize that when it comes to the economic gap between blacks and whites in America, it does come from a great injustice that has never been dealt with. 73% of African Americans are in favor of cash payments to black Americans who are descendants of slaves. How do you respond to them? The wealth that we have built, the way we became the greatest country on the face of the planet, was literally on the backs of those who were kidnapped and brought here by force. The legacy of slavery and segregation and Jim Crow and suppression is alive and well in every aspect of the economy and in the country today. It was 250 years of slavery, followed by another 100, 100 years of domestic terrorism. How are you going to combat the rise of white supremacy? Race, racism, racism, racial, racism, 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 and racism, 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 segregation on racial division, racial issues, racial divide of slaves, slavery, slavery, white supremacy.